Hi, I'm Gary from Life of Gaz and today we're going to have a go at breeding some Danios. Now I've had quite a lot of success with breeding Danios. I breed Rosy Danios, Zebra Danios, Lemon Danios, as well as Leopard Danios as well. Now today we're going to have a go at pairing up our Leopard, uh, my Lemon pair. I've got one male, one female. I'll show you how to sex them in a moment. But first of all, I'm going to show you what I use for actually collecting their eggs. So for breeding my Danio fry, I start off with a plastic container which I use to collect the eggs. I fill this with water just from the main tank, the tank the Danios are in at the moment. And then I just place this over the side and then I attach a magnet either side of it. Now as I'm attaching the magnet either side of this, uh, this can be tricky one handed. As I attach the magnet either side of this, this actually helps to hold the uh, trap in place for me. Now whilst the trap's being held in place like this, what I'll do is I've got a net which has got holes in it big enough for the Danio eggs to squeeze through but not big enough for the adults to get through themselves. I submerge this just like that and then I put a piece of plastic plant in there. Now this has got a weight on the bottom which helps this to stay in the right place but also the Danios themselves like to spawn against things and that is obviously a very good advantage to having this bit of plastic in there. Now if we look over here in the next tank, we can see the two lemon danio. We've got uh, swimming around with some of my other fish as well. You can see the difference between the male and the female. The male, which is in the centre of the picture now, is quite slim, whereas the female has got a nice big plump round belly. Now sometimes I do split these guys up before I breed them, but these two seem to want to be spawning every other day at the moment. So what I'm going to do is move them to this plastic trap. And as I move these guys to the plastic trap, I'm going to turn the lights off and as it gets light in the morning they should hopefully start to spawn. They've been in this trap now for 48 hours. They didn't spawn quite as quickly as I was hoping they would. But now you can see that the female Danio, uh, which is the one just at the bottom of the screen there. We just moved up to the top. She is now about the same width as the male and they, that means they've spawned. Now I can see the eggs in the bottom of here. I don't know if you'll pick them up on the camera, but the eggs are just this mass just down here at this end. You can see the eggs down here on the bottom of this plastic tank and being an egg scattering fish, those eggs are still mobile so they're not going to have stuck to the sides. But what I am going to do next is I'm going to add a little bit of an antifungal treatment, just a couple of drips to this tank, just to stop any fungus from, infest uh, from infecting the eggs. The eggs are now two days old and we can see that lots of them are fertile. As the black half moon shapes you can see on the bottom of this tank are actually the developing fry within the egg. Now I've got some hatching little Danios, absolutely hundreds of them. What we're going to do is wait for them to start swimming around just like a few of them have started now. And once there's a few more starting to swim, then we'll start feeding them the liquid fry number one. The fry are all free swimming now, so it's time to start feeding them on a regular basis. I'll be feeding these guys about three times a day. Zebra Danio fry, about a month old, just starting to get their stripes. At about two months old, we've got some rosy Danio fry. And these guys are around about half grown, about the size of a neon tetra. Nearly ready to go up into the main tank. Uh, just don't trust the angelfish they're going to be going in with. Now these guys stick together quite a lot. They're an excellent little shoaling fish. Especially when you've only just put them in a tank, just like I have here. 